Have you ever been playing The Sims and run into a real life celebrity? Believe it or not, real life celebrities have been present in several games in The Sims series, starting with the House Party expansion pack for The Sims, released in March of 2001, where if the player sim throws an excellent party, comedian and actor Drew Carey would show up to the party in a limousine. The Sims Superstar released in May of 2003 and came with several celebrity NPCs, including Avril Lavigne, Andy Warhol, Christina Aguilera, Marilyn Monroe, Freddie Prinze Jr., Sarah McLachlan, John Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora from the band Bon Jovi, and Elle Woods, as portrayed by Reese Witherspoon in the movie Legally Blonde. In October of 2003, the man responsible for conceiving both SimCity and The Sims, Will Wright, was created as an NPC in the Make and Magic expansion pack. The Sims 2 for PC introduced Julie Tayton, Supermodel and Miss Belgium 2003 as an official downloadable sim. The free time expansion pack for The Sims 2 introduced an NPC named Rod Humble, based on the real life executive producer of The Sims 2 with the same name. The Sims 2 Pets for console is a standalone game, not an expansion pack like its PC counterpart, and this game includes Hilary Duff as an NPC and her real life pet chihuahua, Lola. One of the most famous celebrity placements in a Sims game is the console version of The Herbs Sims in the City, which included all four members of the Black Eyed Peas, most notably Will I Am, who acted as a guide and special NPC throughout the game. A simlish version of their hit song, Let's Get It Started, was prominently featured in the opening sequence of the game and sprinkled into other key moments throughout the game. But the Black Eyed Peas were only present in console versions of this game, and the handheld market received a different game entirely where the Black Eyed Peas were absent. Hidden within the game files for 2008's The Sims Castaway Stories is the framework for a deleted character named Kate Austin. Kate isn't a real-life celebrity per se, but is a character from the hit TV series Lost, and this sim looks very similar to Evangeline Lilly, the actor who plays Kate. This Kate Austin sim is probably a prototype that was accidentally left in the game of what would eventually become Jessica Knight in the final release. Pop singer Katy Perry appears in The Sims multiple times. First, a simlish version of Hot and Cold, performed by Katy Perry herself, was included in The Sims 2 Apartment Life. And then there was a Katy Perry Collector's Edition of The Sims 3 Showtime, in which Katy Perry appeared as an actual Sim. This was immediately followed by The Sims 3 Katy Perry's Sweet Treats, an entire stuff pack themed around Katy Perry and sugary sweets like cupcakes and candy. Several other Sims 3 packs include Sims based on TV characters and celebrities that aren't outright named after their inspiration. These include The Sims 3 Supernatural, Chauncey Grimm, who's based on Nick Bernhardt from the TV show Grimm, and the Crumplebottom sisters, based on the Hollowell sisters from the TV show Charmed, as well as The Sims 3 Pets' Honey Darnell, who's based on the famous country singer Dolly Parton. The Sims 4 base game has a sim with the same name as a popular rapper, Travis Scott, but these two are in no way connected. It's just a coincidence that they have the same name. The rapper Travis Scott is not in the game, but The Sims 4 Get Famous does include a real life celebrity, Baby Ariel, who is most notably famous on the social media app Musical.ly at the time of Get Famous's release in 2018. For unknown reasons, Baby Ariel has a special NPC trait that prevents her from aging or dying despite being a teen. And for a limited time between November and December of 2018, Millie Bobby Brown was featured in The Sims 4 as an event coordinator NPC who would gift a box of kindness to player sims and send them on quests to unlock reward traits. And there's even more sims based on real life celebrities. I'm certain I've missed a bunch. Who are your favorites? Who did I miss? Tell me about it in the comments.